Rohit Singh is joining us live this morning from Sahersa in Bihar. Rohit, all eyes in this particular phase will be on the Simancha region. Well, absolutely. Crucial uh, region is the Simanchal because it's a heavily Muslim-dominated area. And obviously, uh, Mahagadbandan is expecting to perform better there. 40% to 70% Muslim population in just four districts, Katihar, Purnia, Araria, and uh, Kishanganj. And that is why this time we have seen, uh, like, Asaduddin Ovesi making inroads into uh, Simanchal. He has fielded candidates uh, in the Simanchal uh, region and... The aim basically is to dent the Muslim voters, to make dent into Mahagatbandhan. And Tejasvi Yadav, who has been campaigning hard in Simanchal also, he has told the voters that uh, OAC was the B team of the BJP. But very crucial are those 24 seats which falls in the Simanchal region. And Mahagatbandhan will be expecting to do well there. But one thing is for sure that Asaduddin Ovaisi's presence in the Simanchal area will have some impact and is likely to dent into the, dent into the uh, Mahagatbandhan vote bank. Okay, let me also take this across to Sandeep Shastri, National Coordinator of the Lokniti Network. Sandeep, good morning. Do you see this particular phase as the most important for the RJD? Yes, this phase is uh, extremely critical for the RJD in its bid to get the Mahabhagatbandhan to power. Uh, the basic challenge that they face is uh, both the anti-NDA vote appears to be being, being split and secondly, uh, the traditional vote which has gone to the RJD may also get split. So there is a double challenge which the RJD faces uh, to be able to retain its uh, vote share and to be able to consolidate the anti-NDA vote in its favor because that is very critical in its challenge against the candidates of the NDA. But Sandeep, you know, when you talk about the NDA's chances, Yogi Adityanath last few days has been campaigning. He made that very, very controversial remark on NRC. Do you see that really denting the BJP's chances? Nitish Kumar did try damage control soon after, but do you think that will really help now or too late? Now, at one level, we are seeing the internal contradictions within the NDA. But I think there is a vote which the UP chief minister is appealing to and there is a vote that Nitish Kumar is trying to retain. So I think there are, it's parallel activity going on within the NDA. And there are certain people who would be gladdened by what the UP chief minister says. And I think the hope of the BJP is to be able to consolidate that vote. On the other hand, Nitish Kumar and his uh, JDU are very keen that their traditional supporters remain with them and the type of response you got from a very very emotional response from nitish kumar to uh, a very indirect emotional response uh, not directly criticizing the neighboring state chief minister yeah. but then indicating that that was something which he would not accept so i think it's an interesting strategy where uh, the contradictions within the UA, NDA are apparent, but they are trying to make the best of the situation to see that their respective vote banks are safe within the state. Uh, Rohit, what is the perception on ground for that statement that was made by Yogi Adityanath? Sorry, actually, I didn't get your full statement. That was, that was to Rohit. Rohit, can you hear me? Yes, yes, Akshita. Rohit, my question to you was, you know, what are the sentiments <clears throat> on ground? How are voters really seeing that statement from Yogi Adityanath? Is that going to be a factor? Well, Akshita, see, the voters are extremely silent this time. They are not uh, uh, spelling, uh, telling what is there in their mind. What they do is that they will come to the polling booth and cast their mandate and let the people know on 10th that what was there in their mind. But a desperate attempt was made by Yogi Adityanath when he addressed that rally in Katihar, which is also which is in the Simanchal region, where he tried to polarize the uh, atmosphere in support of, in the favor of the BJP when he said that. Uh, infiltrators in the country will be thrown out once the NDA government returns to power in Bihar. And at the same time, Nitish Kumar was addressing another rally in Kishanganj where he also raised this issue of NRC and clearly said that there was 
no one who could throw the people of the country uh, out of the country uh, on any pretext. So there were two different views that were taken uh, by two tall NDA uh, leaders, but the attempt was definitely by Yogi Adityanath to polarize the voters, Hindu voters, so that they come out in large numbers to, to vote. But what will that mean in a region like Simanchal? Javed Ansari, senior journalist, is also joining us on this broadcast. Javed, good morning. We were just discussing the importance of Simanchal for the RJD and also the recent comments by Yogi Adityanath with regards to NRC. Largely, this particular election in Bihar hasn't really focused on the issues of polarization. It's been focused on unemployment. It's been focused on social issues that concern Biharis. Since Yogi Adityanath's campaign, that slightly shifted because the issue of NRC came up Nitish Kumar tried to you know do some damage control after Yogi's comment do you see it having an impact do you think uh, BJP's chances in Simanchal could be hurt because of what Yogi said look uh, we were very happy and very pleased to note that at least in the first two rounds yeah. there was uh, Bihar was showing signs of of moving away from the caste and common narrative However, towards the end, we did see attempts. We saw a blatant attempt on the part of Yogi Adityanath. I'm not surprised Yogi Adityanath is known for this. The very reason that he's sent to these places to, to, to campaign is to, to, to cater to their base voter. And so, therefore, he did what, he, what, he, what was expected of him. Also, I was a, a tad disappointed that even the prime minister had to refer to, you know, vote for those who are against Jai Shri Ram, vote for those who are against Bharat Mata. I mean, who is against Bharat Mata or Jai Shri Ram? So therefore, to be to say this was a, was was more than a wee bit disappointing. Uh, Whether this will have an effect or not, we, we don't really know. But but if, if the indications are anything to go by, evidence, any total evidence from the ground is anything to go by, then it does appear that Bihar is voting is holding Nitish Kumar to account. Bihar is voting hmm. on bread and butter issues, on on, unemploy on unemployment, on the horrid state of affairs, uh, uh, post the corona crisis, the way uh, migrants have been treated. And, and Bihar appears to have pushed, put the caste and communal narrative of the past behind it. If that is the case, that is a very, very welcome change, at least in politics of India. But Javed, just picking up from one point you made about how it's a clear strategy as far as Yogi Adityanath's campaign is concerned, why then do we see Nitish Kumar stepping in, trying to, you know, make a clarification, saying there's no such thing, it's all rubbish talk when you say someone's going to be kicked out or off the state. If it's a clear strategy, why is there a need for Nitish Kumar to come out and clarify? Look, it's two things. In politics, you try and keep all the options to yourself. So maybe the NDA wanted, wanted to juggle both balls, hmm. get Mr. Adityanath to do what he's known to do best, rabble-rouse, appeal to the base vote. And then they were hoping, banking, that Mr. Nitish Kumar's uh, instincts would kick in. That instinctively, I do believe that Nitish Kumar, despite his opportunistic politics, despite the fact that he has on several occasions, you know, formed the government in coalition with the BJP, in alliance with the BJP. Hmm. I do believe that instinctively he's opposed to this kind of, of politics. His politics is more inclusive. And they realized, they felt that his instincts would kick in and that he would instinctively react. Also, that perhaps Nitish Kumar realizes that, you know, you need to save yourself for another day. Okay, this election is gone, but why... Uh, why compromise on your hard-earned credibility, your hard-earned reputation of, of being an inclusive leader, of being opposed to communal politics, and therefore, his, his, you know, what, his believed, what he believed in, his inner beliefs or his instinct kicked in. Or, okay. as, as some, some people believe, that they were juggling both balls, but Nitish Kumar's reaction would keep, keep the secular lobby happy, and Mr. Yoginath would appeal to the baseline instincts, and therefore, it would be win-win for India. But in politics, two and two is, uh, two plus two is never four. Hello everyone, this is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.